Do you know how accurate the temperature on your oven is? Well, if you don't, I've got a really easy way. You won't need an oven thermometer. You will need some sugar and some parchment paper or a baking dish. Let me show you how. So we know that table sugar, aka sucrose, melts at 365 degrees Fahrenheit or 185 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna melt some sugar and see how hot my oven really is. This, my sugar melted. It's almost caramelized, which means my oven is actually too hot. So my sugar did melt. It's not as brown as before. I'm gonna repeat this to determine the temperature at which my sugar no longer melts. Okay, take a look at this. The sugar no longer melts at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, subtract the lowest temperature at which the sugar melts from 350 degrees, and that's your temperature correction factor for your oven. Now, some ovens will let you apply this information and take it a step further. So if I go to the settings section on my oven, I can select the upper or the lower oven. Let's just take the upper oven and I'm going to look at the correction factor. So in my case, the oven was too hot, so I could increase and apply 25 degrees Fahrenheit as the correction factor. If it was too cold and say it was um, too cold by 20 degrees, that was the correction factor, then I could apply 20 degrees. So you apply that and you see how easy it is to fix if you enjoyed this lesson on food science, then sign up for my newsletter, The Flavor Files, using the link in my bio, and share, save, and follow me here.